So to me, this is the most important part of an Indy car. This is what we call the safety cell. It's basically the cockpit that the driver sits in. So in IndyCar, we all race Delara chassis, and this piece here is made from one solid piece of carbon fiber. So if you could see an IndyCar crash, a lot of times uh, things are breaking away to dissipate the energy, but this one solid piece is built to stay together no matter what. So this car here, we've actually retired, but you can see it in its bare carbon form here. And this is the piece that uh, really saves the driver's life when you have these big impacts at two, over 200 miles an hour. So you can see where the driver sits here. The front of the car has quite a bit of room. Uh, the front wing would go here, so there's plenty of room to get to this bulkhead here so that the driver's feet are safe. That's been one of the um, biggest improvements, I'd say, in IndyCar safety since the 80s and 90s is uh, so many people, even like my father, had really horrible um, lower leg and feet injuries uh, when they had frontal impacts. So they've done a great job to extend this and make a bigger, a larger crushable area to, to save the driver's feet from, from really big injuries. And then basically, uh, the car all goes together from the back here. The fuel cell is right here. So it's almost the most central part of the car and that makes it the safest in an impact. So you're not gonna have a, a fuel explosion like you did in the past because um, the rubber bladder of the fuel cell is put inside here, almost in the center of the car. So then the engine would um, come after that all the way back to the gearbox and to the rear wing and that makes up the Indy car. So when we go to the race, we carry uh, basically two of these per driver. So we will have uh, his primary car and then a backup car ready for him in case he has a big crash over the weekend and we can we need to put another car out there. It literally comes in a box and a bunch of parts and pieces and the guys sort everything out and then we start building it and putting it together. A lot of it, um, believe it or not, is actually wiring. We, we run so many sensors and there are so much electronics on the Indy cars now that uh, it takes a good few days just to get all the wiring done in the car. Uh, if we had to, I'd say we could build a car in a week. The custom seat, um, we build the steering wheel. Uh, we do have measurements of what we feel like aerodynamically where his head should be as he's sitting in the car, and then we work him around that to make him comfortable.